the human body is changing dramatically. Worldwide, the prevalence of obesity has doubled in the last few decades. If you go back 50 years and you look at the proportion of the population that was considered obese, and you look at it now, it, it, it really is an epidemic. The number of obese children has tripled. The population is getting fatter. Nine million adults are overweight. An explosion of fat-related diseases. What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? Losing weight is one of the toughest battles anybody can come across in their lifetimes. And if you're struggling with weight loss, I'm going to give you my top five tips that help me overcome my obesity and get fit. And if you're just now finding my channel for the first time, please click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be down every time I drop a video with the Life Gain Squad. And let's go ahead and get into my top five tips. What's good, YouTube and returning life gainers? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is hell host. And we helping you guys make those fitness, lifestyle, life gains, losing weight, getting fit, so that you can live a long, productive life with quality. And we're talking about some of the top five things for the overweight lover who wants to be a fit lover and nobody knows this as good as I do because I went through it myself being a heavy guy about 315 325 and I'm shaved it on down to under 200 pounds and have ha held muscle mass so you know one thing that happens is you can go get a trainer and a lot of trainers have never had to deal with all the things that go into being overweight and trying to lose weight is more than just the calories in calories out there is a total mindset with it that a lot of trainers don't understand and not to say that they're not good trainers because they can be good trainers but i also believe that having gone through the experience reinvigorates refortifies your knowledge and your feeling and apathy for what someone's going to go through so when you're heavy pretty much everything in your life is tied to food and our society is so much revolved around food that you get sad you want to eat you're happy you want to eat you go out and socialize you want to eat and it becomes a mental attachment when you're heavy if you're extremely heavy and so we're going to talk about some ways to overcome that the top five things to focus on which leads me to my point number one you have to make the mental change I had to do that from day one because it was nothing to go and do all the things you need to do in the gym. I was lifting, I would go do a little cardio here and there, but nothing was changing. I was getting strong as hell, don't get me wrong. And I hadn't made up in my mind that, you know, no matter how my outside looked, my inside wasn't healthy. Because I tell my clients jokingly that I was banging more panty draws at my heaviest than I've ever done with lean and muscles. And that is just the absolute truth. So I had to make the mental change that being healthy and being fit and having a better quality of life is something I wanna do. And if you're trying to start your journey, you have got to make that mental change. And I know we get tired of hearing when you go to any of these seminars on making money and all this stuff, you get tired of hearing, you gotta make the mental change. It is true. You have got to make a mental change that you're going to lose this weight. You're going to get to your goal and you're going to do it the old fashioned tried and true way, which is work through your diet and exercise. So I, that's number one, mental change. Number two is patience. You have got to have patience. Depend upon how much weight you got to lose is not going to happen overnight. And from a heavy person's perspective, there was a lot I had to learn from all the different things about diet and i mean it's just like it's it's a nuisance from you know you hear about low fat diets low carb diets um atkins diet you hear all these things about diets then they the media gets you with you know eat this healthy yogurt i mean it's just a menagerie of pure stuff that you've got to learn and filter through 
and pull all those parts together. So I went through the process of having to learn how to get through that, having to learn how to train properly, uh, you know, getting my cooking skills together. And all that took me, you know, well over two, three years. But you know, we all want things fast nowadays and it don't happen like that. And you don't want your diet to happen like that. You didn't gain the weight fast. So you don't want to lose it fast. You want to take your time, learn the process so that you put in place skills that you can keep that weight off for a lifetime. Number three, take notes. I was just going back the other day as I'm preparing to do a fitness competition in 2018, comparing notes of what has worked for my body in terms of quote unquote fasting, um, certain carbs that I can eat that don't make me retain water and weight. As you start going through your journey, I want you all to take notes as well. What exercises exhaust you the most? Um, what foods do you seem like really help you in your weight loss journey? You can kind of eat a little more of it versus something else. For me, I can eat a whole lot of sweet potatoes versus rice and really, really lose weight. Whereas the rice, it kind of makes me retain water and you don't see any changes on the scale. So start taking notes on the things you're doing to be successful in your fitness goals as you're starting to lose that weight. Next one is gonna be, you have to make a plan. And that plan is gonna be dependent upon you and your lifestyle and the way you work and all that. So if you feel like you're the type of person where you need support, you're gonna need a trainer, then you need to go ahead and put that in your plan. If you need some support in terms of cooking and all that, look at some YouTubes. If your job got you working night shift, you've got the plan to do your training, do your food cooking and your prep, and still be able to get in a lot of rest. So you've got to make a plan, and when you make that plan, you have got to stick to it. And then you continually evaluate that plan. You go back and look, you see what's worked, what hasn't worked, evaluate the plan, but more importantly, you stick to your plan. And last, but definitely not least on this journey, Surround yourself with positive influences who are going to encourage you as you try to go through your weight loss journey. You're going to deal with people that are going to be picking on you. Like if you have a luncheon at your job, for example, and you know, they've got all kinds of, they got all the shittiest foods in the world. They've got donuts, cookies, ice cream, candy, you name it, stuff that is not going to help you on your weight loss goals. And people will sit here and tell you, well, you can have just one cookie. And granted, you might have space in your dieting and in your calories for one cookie. But just eating that one cookie could open up the floodgates of all the mental behaviors you have put in place to overcome dealing with that. So in your plan, most likely you're going to have some kind of a day, I mean, a meal where you eat what you want so that you can have that mental satis satisfaction and all that don't fall for people that are going to be telling you to do those little things you know and in your household you know get your family on board with your goals because you want to be healthy and live a long vitality life for them tell them that's what you're doing it for and make sure that you're watching positive videos that help you get through this journey that are going to help you get on your quest to be fit and if you need a coach i'm here for you I've got very low rates for online coaching to help clients. I'm your accountability buddy. I'm your champion in helping you get there. And if you want to hit me up, go to www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07. I've got a feature that says one-on-one -on -one online coaching. Click that link and we'll help make this plan for you. And I'll be there to make sure you get through and we'll walk you to the finish line of fitness success in 2018. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Let's get you that life gain in 2018. You want that online coach? I'm here for you. I just gave you the link, and we're going to make it happen. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains.
You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Game.